Hello there guys, so this was a requested spell set for the store, this is the Shark Totem spell set. So, it was requested that I create a pillar and a spell oil and anything else that I felt appropriate for uh, Shark Totem energy. And in this circumstance I felt that I didn't want to go too overboard with like the other bits and pieces. However, if you want a votive or a couple of votives as well, let me know. Um, I can do that quite easily for you if, if you want a couple of votives in this vein as well. Uh, but I didn't want to push it too far because I wasn't sure about price point and things. So I just did a pillar, a powder and a spell oil. And I also got your present, which is why it was... <laughs> It wasn't available until today. I, I am going to talk about this set itself in a minute, but uh, I just wanted to show you. Um, so this is my gift for you. This is a shark tooth, fossilized shark tooth on, on a wire, so you can actually wear and connect. So given who this is for, and I'm not going to say, um, I just felt that I wanted to give a little extra. So there you go. That's for you. So the shark totem energy, uh, and I had the request of it, and the sort of leading in of it being about uh, the drop off, uh, the, the, the darkness, the unknown. So how I feel about shark energy, and I have worked with shark energy on occasion, is it deals with one's fears, the conquering of one's fears. There's often an element of fear of being the weakest, fear of being attacked, uh, fear of uh, being harmed in some way, and there's an energy of being vigilant and aware of one's surroundings surroundings and being aware of potential threats to one's safety. Sharks are incredible hunters. They are incredibly aware of their environment. Uh, they're stealthy, uh, they're organized, they're clever, there's real intelligence. And of course there's the human fear of sharks. Is it completely unwarranted? No. I mean, they're obviously a natural hunter, a natural predator within the water. Uh, but I think there is an element of irrational fear attached to shark energy because, uh, you know, more people... I think it's more people die from cow attacks than uh, shark attacks per year. Um, and it just ties into the human irrational fear of the unknown. Uh, the ocean is largely unknown, we only know a portion of it, there's so much undiscovered and there's elements of <clears throat> we're discovering new life forms and things to do with the ocean uh, all the time. So it's this mystery, this unknown, this depth to which humans can't uh, get to and can't fully explore in a lot of cases. So there's that fear of not having control which is attached to the energy of shark totem and sharks are very much in control um, of themselves and of the environment around them. They are, you know, the primordial, primordial hunter is how I see them. Uh, they've survived for a very long time um, and, you know, there's a fossilized shark tooth in this, you know, as a gift in this whole uh, set as if to prove that point, you know, there's an ancientness to them and that ancient wisdom, that survival, that primordial hunter. There's also the kind of otherness to sharks. When you look at sharks they are very odd to the human eye. I think this feeds into the fear of them as well. Uh, they have that otherness, that re complete removal almost uh, from how we expect creatures to look perhaps. Uh, they're very streamlined, very huntery, very warrior-esque. Um, and some of them are very odd looking. I mean, you think about how head sharks and how the, the, the eyes are and how much head sharks, and it's, it's considered to be a little bit of an oddity. And I like that otherness to the energy of the particular set. So it gives it a between worlds energy. So they are a between, between realms almost, because they are a creature of the water. And in Celtic tradition, water is a conduit to the other world, the realm of the gods. And given that we don't fully understand the ocean, it does have that otherness as well, that unknown. So in terms of spell work here, we're dealing with fear of being the weakest, conquering one's fears, conquering one's fears of being different, conquering one's fears of being alien, conquering one's fears of 
even one's fears of one's own spiritual path because one is considered other to other people and uh, if you're considered odd and different and weird and uh, that sort of dealing with that sort of energy. There's also the survival and vigilance element here. The primordial hunter comes into the spell work so there's an element of protection deep rooted protection because sharks have survived for a long time and uh, they're almost top of the food chain I, I would guess I would say within within the ocean sphere if not top of the food chain you have obviously very different breeds of sharks and, and uh, depending on what breed they are, I suppose it depends on how aggressive and, and things. But uh, generally speaking, you know, they are hunters and they're very, very graceful in, in the water. Um, I sit sometimes and watch shark videos and just think how... Well, how beautiful and graceful they are, but also how small they make uh, human beings seem. Uh, so if it, human beings in that scenario stand no chance, if you know great white decides to kill you, you stand very little chance of survival, and it just brings into sharp relief how nature can be overwhelming and, and, and vicious when necessary and and strong and so much more than human beings. You know, it, you know, human beings like to think of themselves as top dog and we're quite small by comparison so I think it gives an energy of that like really considering who you are and uh, realizing who you are but also protecting who you are and not allowing others to sort of hunt you down sort of thing okay so the pillar is it's a light grey and I was considering all my options with uh, with this. I nearly went with white, um, but I decided in the end to go with a light grey. Uh, many sharks are a light grey, which I, uh, I guess you could say is a direct correlation, but it's more to do with the uh, in-betweenness, uh, to do with the otherness, to do with that being in-between worlds, uh, because grey is often a colour which is considered in-between, and you have all your great debates within uh, witchcraft circles about black and white magic, which generally speaking I stay away from because I don't believe in labelling magic as one thing or another. Magic is magic, it's just human ethics. But um, grey is a really wonderful colour for taking all energies of oneself into oneself. It's weighing up all elements of the situation before acting. Uh, and it's a very defensive colour, It's a, as in protection defensive, uh, because you have a mix of your, your two colours in terms of colour magic. So you can have your black, your blocking, your reflecting, and your white for drawing positive things in. So grey is a combination, so that's why we went with the grey. And then it has a slightly darker uh, grey-black shine to it, just to add a little bit of a bite to it. So then we have the spell oil. I want to show you the spell oil hopefully well enough um, through it being in a settled state and then it being in a... I was too reflective again this morning, goodness. Right, so... There we go. So this is its settled state and you can see there is a light blue tone to the oil so it's meant to look like ocean. Um, and sharks obviously can go into a frenzy so there's your frenzy uh, sharks do tend to go into frenzies when attacking uh, as, as far as I understand it um, and so the spell oil brings to bear that element of the shark totem it's uh, a spell oil that can be used to defend or attack depending on what you feel the situation merits and I'm not necessarily talking about people um, this you know it can be situations where you might need to attack a situation you might need to be proactive about a situation you might need to put yourself into a situation 
more proactively than you have been doing in the past. It can, it can be any situation um, and you basically need to get your teeth into that situation and I think that applies to a lot of the shark magic actually, getting your teeth into something um, and, and, and you know working yourself up to a point where uh, you're in a battle frenzy for one reason or another. How you apply that of course is up to you. And then finally I'll just put that in here so we can get a little bit of a better look as we zoom in a bit. Okay, so this is the Bite Me powder. <laughs> this amuses me no end. I think I might have uh, some of this myself because I do, as I said, on occasion work with shark energy. So I was talking about getting your teeth into things. Um, this is a defensive powder. This is a protection powder. This is... Uh, I'm so sick of dealing with your bull bite me type powder um, and you can use it in other ways of course you can use it for getting your teeth into life so uh, take, getting proactive about life while protecting yourself uh, and uh, becoming top dog like shark energy you know get, getting proactive being the hunter being the, the, the warrior but protecting yourself at the same time being vigilant uh, being aware of one's surroundings but uh, primarily uh, the idea was to protect oneself against the things that could uh, potentially cause one harm. It can be used like a barrier powder or it can be used around the bases of candles or within you know spell sachets and things of that nature. I really really like the bite me powder. I like the whole set actually. It came out to be really interesting and really different from uh, uh, many of, of the sets. Uh, the bite me powder in particular has a real has real teeth to it basically <laughs> um, and I think it walks or in fact swims that line between attack and defense which I think I think all of it does actually I think it has that beautiful energy between um, and it allows you to evaluate the situation uh, whatever the situation may be and then apply your magic to it so I hope you like it, and as I said, if you want votives, uh, that's no problem. Just be aware of the price difference. Um, a couple of votives won't put the shipping up or anything, but uh, obviously the votives themselves are an extra £2.50 each. Uh, so that's up to you, but I didn't want to you know, overdo it with regards to what's actually in the set. But if you want a couple of votives in the same vein as the, the pillar, that's no problem. Just let me know. Okay, so that's the Sharp Totem spell set and many blessings.